okay, this is uh, another combo with uh, two unknowns, one miscellaneous water, uh, Prince, and Teus. And uh, this is uh, playing through Nibiru, uh, but not sniping yet. Uh, it's just that we can we have follow up if we do get Nibiru. Uh, so this will start with uh, Prince, normally Prince, uh, Prince effect, send Dragoons, add Dragoons, Dragoons effect, add Prince. And we'll go reveal Teus by discarding uh, Dragoons. And then do chain link one Dragoons, chain link two Teus. Teus. We'll add uh, Pike, Dragoons. We'll add Megalo. And then we will link Teus and Prince for Abyss Shark, or sorry, Abyss Keeper. And Abyss Keeper effect will activate. We'll special Pike, uh, Pike effect. We'll send Prince to add a gun to our hand. And then a Prince effect will target and special Dragoons. Now, if we do get a beard here, uh, then we have follow up because we have we have Gund and Megalo and an unknown water in our hand. So even if we get a beard here, we're still ending on a uh, Gaios and equip spell. So we'll still have two interruptions. Uh, but if not, we have a, a third interruption. And so, so assuming we do not get in the beard here, we would go uh, rank up into Bahamut. And then Bahamut effect, send Dragoons to Special Toad. And then Dragoons effect will activate. And there's a few options we can do here. Um, what am I saying? You were adding Lapis here. Add Lapis. Lapis effect will activate in hand. To reveal and special, and then we'll link off Bahamut and Lapis. Special uh, Abyss Lacia, and then we'll continue with the. This would be like the follow up after Nibiru. If we did get Nibiru, we just go Megalo, send uh, our miscellaneous water and Gund, and then Gund will target Taste and Grave. Megalo will add the equip spell. Let's grab Taeus. And so then we will rank up those guys into Mermail Abyss Gaios. Set the equip spell, uh, probably preferably to the uh, Gaios. If you want to, will you equip it, the equip spell to Gaios if you want to have the higher attack on the Gaios so that way you can um, negate a higher attack point uh, opponent's monster. But if you want to separate the interruptions so that way, let's say if they have a Kaiju, they need to pick um, between what interruption they want to get rid of. Then we equip the equip spell to a Lacia. So that way if they Kaiju the Lacia, the equip spell will go. Uh, but Gaios will still have its negation. Um, or they could Kaiju the Gaios and then we still have the equip spell at least off of the Lacia. Rather than if we had equip spell to uh, Gaios and they send Gaios which will also send the equip spell leaving us with you know, negging uh, a little bit. So this would be our end board. We have uh, three interruptions, and then depending on what our hand looks like, you can maybe search for uh, an infantry to have that pop at Lacia. But if anything, this will leave you with uh, a toad, be able to negate a card, go to graveyard, and uh, grab Dragoons back to your hand, and then you can activate Lacia effect to send Dragoons to search uh, a Teus or Megalo, and then a Sea Serpent from your deck off the Dragoons, giving you some follow up. Plus, you have two unknowns, and in this deck, there's if it's not a water card, it's a hand trap. So, any on waters should be uh, should be usable trap cards for your opponent. So yeah, that's it.